Hi, and welcome to the chapter review for ICND 1 Chapter 16. As usual, this video gives you hints and tips on how to use ICND 1 Chapter 16 in this case, but everything in the chapter is fair game on the test. By definition, if I put it in the book, I think it could be on the exam. Now, during your first pass of the chapter, note that the first two thirds or so of the core of the chapter is general information. So you can go through it relatively quickly. In particular, it talks about network connectivity, starting out with technologies you normally use to connect to the internet, and then moving on to technologies that more often than not are used to connect enterprise network sites together without using the internet. So you move through that pretty quickly. Then toward the end, you get to this topic called NAT, or Network Address Translation. Now, NAT is hugely important. So when you're reading this, you're going to read about it in this chapter, in the next chapter, and some in the ICND2 book as well. Uh, focus on the idea of port numbers with a part of NAT that's called PAT for Port Address Translation. So pay attention to those port numbers and the terminology. And if you don't remember much about TCP and UDP port numbers, if you'll go back to the earlier chapter that covers TCP, that's the chapter titled... Uh, fundamentals of TCP IP transport, etc. It's chapter 6. Uh, look for the section on port numbers and uh, get a review there. So you really do need to understand port numbers to make sense of PAT. Now once you've done your first pass and you look at doing your second pass, I would say you could pretty much focus on the terminology and big ideas on the second pass through this chapter. So look at the key terminology and review tables and things like that. Then when you get to the part review, which won't be long because there's just one other chapter in this part of the book, and it shows you how to configure the things that you just read about here in chapter 16, you should be able to list all those major technologies, all those major network connectivity features from memory by this point. And if you can't, just review. You also should have mastered NAT concepts by now. In particular, those port numbers. Now what I mean by that is, let's just say we got this LAN and we put two PCs, PC1 and 2 on it, put this router in, and the router's gonna do NAT. So what I ask you is this, if this PC1 has created some connection, say, to a web server that's sitting out in the internet, what does the source IP and source port number look like for this packet? as it flows from PC1 over to the router? And what does it look like when that same packet flows from that router toward the web server and the internet? Those details will be changed, and one of the keys to understanding the concepts behind NAT, and particularly the feature called PAT, is to know, to know what those things work like, what changes are made there. So make sure that you've got that down. Now, when you do the final review for the book, well, guess what? You're pretty close to that already. Uh, when you do get there, mostly you should remember this because it will have been relatively recent that you read about it. But I would say make sure you look at the tables inside this chapter and review the terminology to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. That's it. Hope that helps, and hope you enjoy reading the chapter.